think that would be great. That's the one I was going to yeah. pick. So. Super soft robots. <laughs> What the heck? Well, they're they're soft robots are robots that are designed to look more animal like, human like, whatever. And they're you you can hug them. I don't know. If... They're, oh, they're huggable. They're huggable uh, since, robots. Synthetic okay. muscles could give soft robots super robot strength. This could actually help Sophia with her superpowers. It's, so wait, so it's would, would, would Sophia be a soft? Sophia would be a soft robot. Yes, Sophia is soft and. So, so, but, but, hey, nothing to see here, folks. Is, it's, it's just yeah. a new technology that could make robots super strong <laughs> and super able to totally dominate humans. <laughs> Good times, right? Yeah. I, I don't Why see not? the problem here. So this, this is from Science Daily here. Research at the Weiss Institute at Harvard University and MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Traitors, human traitors, traitors to your species. <laughs> Well, right. actually, you're a traitor. Collaborators. Collaborators. You're not just traitors to your species. You're tra- you're, what, is, it, is there like one giant kingdom? You're traitors to your kingdom. Uh, what, 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 uh, <laughs> your you're, kingdom, your phylum, and your order. <laughs> you're, you're traitors to life kind. That's, right. that's about as traitory as you can go here, dudes. Okay? You're traitors to life kind. So they've created... Origami-inspired artificial muscles that add strength to soft robots, allowing them to lift objects that are up to 1,000 times their own weight using only air or water pressure. The study will be published this week in Humans is All Gonna Die. Actually, no. It's, right. So uh, they're like, they're basically ants. They're like ants, <laughs> but they're like people is what you're telling me. You're like, if they're I like, went out and like peed, if I went out and like peed in a fountain, at like midnight on October 31st and an ant crawl, we could switch bodies and somehow I had the strength of an ant in my human body. This yeah. would be what this is like. Yeah, 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 it would be like that. So so it's actually published in the Proceedings of the National Ad Academy of Science, uh, which, uh, by the way, is, is PNAS. I mean, that's it's PNAS, okay? Uh, yes. PNAS. Yes, I'm an astute member of PNAS. <laughs> I, I am a member of PNAS. Uh, Are you not a member of PNAS? Yes. Uh, he yes. got the highest accolades from PNAS. <laughs> yes. Yes. He's number one at PNAS. <laughs> right, right. You put that on your resume, buddy. I love buddy. PNAS. <laughs> but then, imagine that, that, that interview question. So tell me about tell PNAS. Tell me more about your PNAS. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is a great show this is a, we're not sophomore uh, humor, folks. we don't do sophomore this humor crazy this is class all the way so this this would give the ability for sophia to lift your car above her head is basically what you're telling sophia me sophia would have so, the superpowers i want a child and i want a child now <laughs> right i'll, I'll take keep yours you people <laughs> right, i'll, I'll keep yours you people too. Right. Yes. Exactly. Crazy. Yeah. So, so he says here, one of the one of the penis guys says, we were very surprised by how strong the actual the actuators, aka muscles, were. We expected they'd have a higher maximum functional weight than ordinary soft robots, but we didn't expect a thousandfold increase. And, there, and listen to this. This is so perfect. And, <laughs> and this is Dan- Danilo Rus of penis. Okay, that says it all. Danila Rus of Pina says, it's so. like giving these robots superpowers. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you? Like, I don't want. Listen, I you did not think if that you're through. going to bring an android, you're going to bring a robot into my house. OK, I want it like I, a person. It moves like a person, yeah. but it can rip like this is I don't this want is that. the equipment. You know that lady that had the freaking gorillas or whatever that whatever she, chimpanzees that ripped her face oh, off? No, not Jane no. Goodall. Oh, right. Jane get off didn't get her face ripped off. But the, yeah, no, that she lady, had sex yeah, with gorillas. Whatever. Didn't she have no, sex her, with monkeys? Or no, something? it was a pet chimpanzee that did that. Right, right. She but I, I back to back up, back up, because now you have my off. now you have my curiosity. Did Jane Goodall have sex with monkeys? What the heck? Where where is this coming from? This is I don't I don't know. I watched that movie when I was a kid. What the heck was the, that movie about the apes or whatever the chimps? With Jane Goodall, and I got the impression that that lady was shacking up with those monkeys. Dude. Wow! 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 Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm telling I, you. Oh, oh, oh! But but you know what? Ty does make a good point here about uh, us combating the super superpowers. Humans can 
uh, do it also with exoskeletons. But we're pretty much going to have to walk around in exoskeletons because the first time we slip out of our exoskeleton, the dudes are going to drop us. <laughs> like, the robots are going to rip your face off. <laughs> yeah, right. exoskeleton. Exactoskeleton. You come Get home him. from work. Get him. You come home from work. You know, it's like Fallout 4. You come home from work. You take your exo suit into the garage and you unstrap from the yeah, harnesses. Like, ah, you walk in the house and your robo maid, Rosie the robo maid, rips your face. Face off. <laughs> well, she smells it. It's like, he's out of his suit. Get him. <laughs> That's the end of that. Uh, seriously. That's the end uh, of that. I don't think this is a good idea, and I don't know why. Personally, I want my robots weaker than me. I think it's highly That's entertaining. What I, yeah, I, you know, I want my robots my robot to be like, like have like, uh, you know, like uh, one leg <laughs> that they have to hop on. Uh, like all their joints are, are intentionally rusty. So they can only move so fast. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know you know when he's walking down the hallway because you can hear <laughs> running 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 on a Pentium two processor? That would be great. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, I seriously don't understand why nobody thinks any of this stuff is dangerous. Like, why would you say it's because, like giving because, these robots superpowers. Well, Did you, you, you not know, ever stop for one second to think maybe that's not a good idea? But but in all in all seriousness, though, I could see why people work on this. That they would look around and say, "Dude, you know, it's just it's just a form. It's another form of consciousness." And uh, you know, there's there's no objective reason that you have to be so clingy with the human race. I mean, it's a bit like okay, the human race could be the the next. Uh, leap to the to the next level of 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 consciousness which could be ai so i could see them working on that. robots they're like you know like yeah main you know they're working on projects and they're probably thinking dude yeah this isn't gonna you know within 20 years we're all dead i'm probably gonna die before then so i don't care so uh right you know, right the, the, so although, let's put you know, lasers the, the, in the eyes <laughs> the 50 year olds <laughs> right. are like screw it man uh, the, the the twenty year olds are going by. Oh, hold on, <laughs> yeah. hold on. I don't know if that's Wait a good it. idea. Ah, man, screw it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, I got I got plans on living past twenty years here. Bro. Then and then Danella steps in from penis. <laughs> yes, and, uh... Danello Roos. Danello Roos from penis steps in and says, "It's like we gave him superpowers. Hey, it's a great idea. Let's do this again." <laughs> so I I. Right. 